Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we will be solving lead code problem number 802, find eventual safe states. In this problem, we are given a matrix which indicates the graph. For example, this indicates that from 0, we have two paths. What are those two paths? That is, from 0 to 1, we have a path. And from 0 to 2, again we have a path. Now, what does this indicate? This indicates from 1, we have a path to 0. And finally, this indicates that there is no path starting from 2. So, this is the way we can convert the given matrix into a graph. That is the first thing. What is the second thing? There are safe and unsafe states. What is a safe state? That is, there is no cycle starting from that node whatsoever. Every path starting from the node doesn't have a cycle. On the other hand, what are unsafe nodes? It has a cycle. For example, if we start from 0, we go to 1. Are we coming again back to 0? Yes. So, 0 is not a safe node. And 1 again we are going to 0 and coming back to 1. Is it a safe node? No. 2. Is it a safe node? Yes. Why? Because it doesn't have a starting part first of all. And say we add one more node that is node 3. Again 2 will be a safe node. Why? All the paths that are starting from here don't have a cycle. Now is 3 also safe node? Yes. So, this is the first thing. Let's take an example. I won't be writing every of the points, but let us draw only the paths that are starting from node 0 and track all the paths. This will actually help us to develop the intuition. For example, from 0, we have a path to 1 and we also have a path to 2. From 1, we have a path to 3, we have a path to 2 and we have a path to 3. Okay, so far so good because every path that is starting is also not forming a cycle. So, until this point, every node is a safe node. But let us go from, are we complete with 1? Yes. From 2, we will go again to node 5. This is also good. But the node starting from 3 will again lead us back to 0. So, is this forming a cycle? We go from 0 to 1. 2, 3 and we are get, coming back again to 0. So, is this a safe node? No, 0 is not a safe node. Not only 0 is not a safe node, is 1 forming a loop? Yes, 1 means forming a loop. How? 1, 2, 3, again to 0. So, 1 is not a safe node. Then again, 2 is not included in this path. 3 is not a safe node. 0 is also not a safe node. So, we can safely eliminate. This is not a safe node. This is not a safe node. This is not a safe node. Similarly, if we eliminate all the unsafe nodes, finally, we will be left with the safe nodes. Or, you can also say that from 5, what are the paths that are getting out? From 5, the paths that are getting out are 0, 1. There is no path from 5. So, this 5 is a safe node. Can we conclude that? Why? Because we traveled all the pos possible paths from this and we know that none of them is forming a cycle. Yes. And also 2. Is it a safe node? From 2, there is only one path. 5. We are traveling any path that is going from 2 is not forming a cycle. Is 2 a safe node? Yes. 2, 4, 5 and 6 are the safe nodes in this particular example. Now, what are the intuition that we or the observations that we draw from the previous example? The first thing is, if there is a cycle, then all the nodes along the path are unsafe. For example, we started from 0, 1, 3 and came back to 0. So, we can eliminate all the nodes along that path as unsafe. We can mark them as unsafe. The second thing is, if you are going from any node to an unsafe node, can we say that even that this node is unsafe? For example, there is an unsafe node here. This is an unsafe node. That is, it is somehow forming a cycle. And there may be any number of nodes, but you come to this unsafe node. Now, are all these paths forming a cycle? Yes, right. So, you can mark this node, this node and all along the path as unsafe nodes. So, that is the key thing. Now, So, which is the best traversal to detect the cycle? See, the best traversal as we discussed, as we saw in the example would be a DFS algorithm. Why? Because any visited cycle, if it is visited once again, 
we will mark that particular node and all the nodes that is leading to that path we should have a track and that track is only possible with a dfs algorithm so how do we do this let us start with this path for example from zero which are the two possible paths we had from zero we had a path to one and we had a path to two from zero we have a path to one and we have a path to two so now from one how many paths do we have from one we can go to two and three from one we can go to two and we can go to three now again from two which is the path that we can go to from two we can only go to five from two we can go to five and from five five doesn't have any path if you look this looks like a very safe path and the thing is you can mark both of two and five as safe here why because we terminated at this point and all the points that are starting from two are also safe so we can mark both two and five as safe nodes now comes one we are not done with all the parts but one of the paths is safe node now let's go to the second path that is three where is three eventually ending three is eventually also ending with one of the paths that is zero so is this a safe path no why because zero is already visited so all along this path can be marked as unsafe zero one three are unsafe nodes we will keep track of unsafe and both safe nodes it is also true that if you ever visit a safe node once again the path that is we need not travel this path once again how many number of nodes are there we need not travel why because we have marked that node as safe node so we will be using the same dfs algorithm but with two modifications what are those modification one thing is we will keep track of unsafe nodes and as well as safe nodes we have to keep track we cannot just use a boolean array to keep track of this but either we have to use two hash set or we'll be using in this case we'll be just using an array where one indicates it is safe and marking two indicates that it is unsafe and if it is zero what does this indicate we have not even we don't know we don't know what is zero so next we have to return the boolean value from the dfs why we have to return because of this why because we are from this five we are saying that i am a safe node once i am saying this this two can mark itself also as safe similarly from one we are coming to three once though two is a safe node this three it is saying that i am unsafe so we, you can mark one as unsafe node so that is the reason it will not just be a pure void function it will be a boolean function now let's get into the pseudo code it's a simple pseudo code now on top of having the node and graph we are having just two extra parameters that is passed one is visited and one is safe well this is a boolean and this is an integer all right so first we will mark we will assume that the node is a safe node so that is what we are doing now what we do we go through all the neighbors just like we went through all the neighbors in this particular graph we go through all the neighbors and the condition is if and only if all the neighbors are safe only then this node will be safe all right what are we doing here we are first visiting the neighbor and if the neighbor is unsafe what we will do we will mark this also as unsafe and we will just break the loop that is what we are doing that is the first condition that is if if at all if we are visiting an unsafe node this node is also an unsafe node and we can mark it as unsafe and finally we will also save this as an unsafe node that is what we are doing but if it is not visiting an unsafe node what is the thing the second thing is it can also visit a safe node if it is visiting a safe node should we continue this loop further no right we will just continue we will go to the next neighbor we don't care about this neighbor because this is a safe neighbor now we will mark this particular node as visited and again we will be doing dfs along the path but the additional cases will be getting track of whether it is returning true or false it will return true if and only if the path is terminating at it is a safe node now if it is not terminating what does that mean it means that this particular node is an unsafe node and we will be finally saving this as an unsafe node and finally we will be returning whatever is the particular state of this node which will be helpful 
at this point all right so this is the modified dfs version that will be requiring now finally which all nodes we have to do this is sufficient for one node but is doing for just one node sufficient no right we have to do this for every node why because the graph may be disconnected for example one two and three are connected and five and six are connected now the point is these both will never collide with each other right so we have to do this or call this particular dfs function for all the nodes so that is what we will be doing here first of all we are initiating visited and unsafe then if at all if it is already unsafe then there is no meaning or if at all if it is already safe or unsafe there is no meaning if only the state is unknown then we will be carrying out the dfs and finally we will be returning all the values from this particular array which have a state equal to one what does one mean one means it is safe so we will add to this result ar array list and we'll be finally returning the result see this may be a combination of two problems but if you solve this problems it, this problem will be very familiar why because these are pure detection if you solve this problem this is a pure cycle detection problem and these are similar problems which have medium and hard level difficulty which you can consider solving and we have a dedicated telegram group whose link i have mentioned in the description where we will discuss the problem solution to this problems and if you have any doubts you can also ask me the doubts now let's dive into the coding part it's similar to the pseudo code whatever we draw first thing is the dfs algorithm we are assuming that the node is unsafe and we are traversing over all the nodes and the first condition is that we are not visiting an unsafe node if you are visiting an unsafe node just mark this node as unsafe and continue and if at all if we are visiting a safe node then what we'll do we'll skip that node we are not worried about that node because however it is safe node then we are marking this particular node as visited we are calling again the dfs algorithm uh, dfs for that particular neighbor node and what we'll be doing finally don't forget to mark this visited as false why we have to mark because we are doing dfs again on a different node for example we visited a particular node one two and three but any path starting from five will not have visited three so we have to mark the neighbor as false after you are done with this particular loop that is three will be marked as false so that is why we are marking here as false finally we will be returning the safe state from this function and also we will be marking in this particular array whether the node is safe or not in this main function what we are doing is not just for one node we are calling the dfs for all the nodes and finally we will be returning the answer thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe